While the Chinese were the first to experiment with explosive powders in 300 AD, it was not until 1252 that the age of gunpowder began. The cannon, as we know it, first blasted into the scene around 1350 as it tore through the clashing armies of the Hundred Years' War, quickly spread across Europe, and redefined warfare forever. The weapon reached its pinnacle in the 17th century, and many experts have considered it obsolete for decades. However, the new M777 howitzer has proven them wrong. With a robust frame made of titanium and aluminum alloys, BAE Systems M777 is approximately half the weight of other comparable systems and able to be transported across rugged terrain by cargo aircraft and disassembled at a moment's notice. But its portability is deceiving, as the M777 can obliterate targets up to 30 miles away with a wide array of devastating ammunition, such as the Excalibur M982 Smart Round. The M777 towed 155mm artillery piece has gradually become the universal howitzer platform for several nations in the world. But the American crews have unveiled the secret to turning the gun from a blunt instrument into a force to be reckoned with. The Successor The M198 155mm medium-toed howitzer entered service with the United States Armed Forces in 1979. Over 36 feet long and weighing 16,000 pounds, the mighty weapon could deploy high explosive charges on targets up to 14 miles out with a crew of 10 people. However, as effective as the M198 was, Marine Corps and Army leadership worried about its battlefield mobility. By the early 1990s, the United States Department of Defense was already on the hunt for a new artillery platform with similar heavy-hitting power, but wrapped in a lighter package. Figuring out how to make a powerful yet mobile towed howitzer was a challenging task. Luckily, UK-based BAE Systems was up to the challenge. Envisioned as a private venture aimed at the export market, Vickers finished the lightweight 155mm howitzer's design in 1987 and presented the idea to the US military in the following years. Then, after trying out two of its prototypes, the Marine Corps saw formidable potential in the LW-155. But since federal law prohibits the US military from procuring weapons of foreign manufacture, the British company committed to forming an alliance with Textron, an American-based company, to develop the gun on U.S. soil. In the late 1990s, the LW-155 was formally pitted against another howitzer design in a fierce competition, where it won and was renamed XM-777. Years later, in 2002, the U.S. Department of Defense awarded BAE a $135 million contract to initiate the low-rate production phase of 94 initial howitzers while formally type-classifying it as the M777. Soon, the British-made design materialized into the first American-made M777. Quick and easy. While prime contract management and manufacturing and assembly of the titanium structures are based in the United Kingdom, Final integration and testing are undertaken at BAE's Mississippi facility. At 35 feet long, and with a 16.7-foot barrel, the artillery platform is slightly shorter than its predecessor, but can fire the same type of rounds. However, thanks to titanium and aluminum alloys, the M777 weighs 40% less, and at 9,300 pounds, it can be towed and delivered via a single cargo aircraft. The minimum gun crew required to operate the weapon is five people, but the recommended regular team is eight, which significantly increases the rate of fire. The M777's lightweight construction is also a considerable advantage for ground transportation. After use, the well-trained artillery crews can break down the system and relocate it in only three minutes. The M777 can then be towed through muddy roads and across wet fields, an impossible feat with heavier weapon systems. 
Additionally, the howitzer has been improved with high explosive shells. The 103 pound M795 projectile holds approximately 24 pounds of TNT, or the destructive firepower of a Hellfire missile, at just a fraction of the cost. And the crews can fire up to five massive rounds per minute, reaching targets up to 19 miles away. If the target is farther away or behind natural obstacles, the M777 can be equipped with the mighty M982 Excalibur, an expensive yet destructive GPS-guided projectile with deployable stabilizing fins capable of reaching objectives as far as 25 miles away. Shortcomings Despite passing the developmental testing phase with considerable media fanfare and overwhelming military approval, the M777 soon ran into significant trouble. These problems appeared as far back as 1998, long before its initial deployment, and continued to plague the M777 for many years. Some issues include metal fatigue, fire instability, and recoil damage. In addition, there are many problems with using titanium materials instead of steel. While similarly strong, titanium alloys are much less flexible and significantly harder. Another significant issue is that the weapon's tube length is dated and has a shorter range than the one commonly used by Western enemies. The dangers of having artillery with a shorter range than the enemy were proved in the South African Border War, the Rhodesian Bush War, the Yom Kippur War, and the Vietnam War, where the side whose guns had a shorter reach was constantly suppressed by longer range fire, and larger quantities of shorter range enemy artillery operated without fear of being bombarded. After several improvements, upgrades, and corrections to these field issues, the M777 weight has gotten closer to the Joint Operational Requirements Document threshold weight of 10,000 pounds. It has also been noted that there is potential for the insertion of lightweight materials, but it's unlikely all problems will be solved. Making History In early 2006, Canada became the first nation to employ the M777 howitzer in combat in the Afghan war. According to reports, during the so-called Operation Archer, the weapon proved to be quite effective, pummeling enemy forces with a constant barrage of firepower. Astonishingly, most of the damage was caused by only two guns. In total, 421 M777s were supplied to the US Army and National Guard and 580 guns to the Marines. The first United States Army combat deployments of the M777 to Afghanistan and Iraq were in 2007, with the first fire missions happening early the following year. And while most of the Army's M777s have long been withdrawn from Iraq, the US Marine Corps continues to make history with the weapon, with many M777s supporting operations in both Iraq and Afghanistan in the mid-2010s. During that decade, America's M777 howitzers were updated with full-bore chrome-plated barrel tubes, extending their service lifespans by up to 300%. In 2017, the efficacy of this significant upgrade was proven in battle, when a single Marine battery fired over 35,000 rounds at ISIS targets in Syria in a little over five months, more than all the artillery rounds fired by the entire American military in the 2003 invasion of Iraq. And despite the massive volume of fire, the Marines only burned through two of the new upgraded chrome-plated barrels. Modern Warfare The M777 howitzer has been built in large numbers, and production still continues. Approximately 1,200 models have been completed with an approximate unit cost of $5.17 million, a high price tag compared to other 155mm howitzers, which cost as low as 90% less. As such, the M777 has had an unusually narrow customer base for sale exports for more than two decades. As of 2021, operators of the weapon included Australia, Canada, India, Saudi Arabia, and the United States and other nations like Colombia and the United Arab Emirates have expressed interest. 
India placed an order for 145 howitzers at some point, and 89 have been delivered and deployed in mountainous regions near the border with China. In addition, the US, Australia, and Canada donated 100 M777 units to Ukraine's fight against the 2022 Russian invasion. The towed 155mm howitzers have proven to be quite effective against the enemy forces, providing necessary cover for Ukrainian infantry lines, destroying troop bridges, and delivering continuous chaos from above, drastically shifting the dynamic of the war. With 20 years of service in war zones worldwide, the M777 is proving the enduring relevance of agile, efficient, and mobile artillery on a modern battlefield. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. For more on the latest military developments of the world, as well as history's most impressive battlefield feats, click on your screen and check out our other Dark Documentaries channels, where we publish regularly. Stay tuned.